This video will discuss how Trimble Business Center version 5.3 implemented some pretty substantial point cloud enhancements and importing procedures to better deal with point cloud data the same as any other survey and construction data via scale factors all in a single project environment. A few notes on the scale factor environment. So unlike most other CAD packages, Trimble Business Center does work in geodetic coordinates. What this means is that we apply a combined scale factor that imp impacts survey and construction field data. Each station or point, depending on where it is along the projection, has its own unique scale factor. What Trimble Business Center version 5.3 did was complete a major milestone to have point cloud data handle the same as your traditional survey and construction field data, as your GNSS data, as your total station data, for example. So what's new in TBC version 5.3? We've enhanced the point clouds menu for LAS, LAZ, and E57 upon import because TBC scales all point clouds based on all station-based point clouds in the project. What that means is data from your Trimble instruments, SX10, MX9, X7 terrestrial laser scanner, the TDX format from our point cloud processing software, Trimble Realworks, and that LAS, LAZ, or E57, all import into TBC as station-based point clouds. What this distinction is, is that TBC computes a known centroid position this represents the station in the station based. And this station, again, depending on where it is and the projection and in your project, impacts that combined scale factor or CSF for all of the point clouds in your project, both the station based and the non station based. TBC creates a point for that centroid, and that's where that combined scale factor is applied. There are other point cloud format that we also support in TBC. Those have an unknown centroid position and they do not impact the combined scale factor for point clouds. Well, why should you care? The application of the combined scale factor to point cloud data, to station-based point cloud data in particular, will allow the point cloud data to better align with your survey data because they are now handled the same. So as TBC accepts more and more data from different sensors, the previously different approaches in handling point cloud data and survey data prior to version 5.30 are clashing and causing centimeter level bus, visual bus that you can see, oh yeah, GNSS data, total station data may not exactly line up with your point cloud. We found that the common scenarios for this are point clouds with different scale factors applied, potentially from different sources, different sensor types, projects that have long geographic areas, think linear corridors for all you transportation folks out there, projects of high relief or elevation delta, the mountains uh, are for a good example. And then also projects near the edges of grid projections. All right, let's go through some common import scenarios with that LAZ, LAS, or E57 point cloud format. A quick note here is that if you're using Trimble hardware, such as an SX10 sensor or an X7 or a mobile mapping system, Trimble Business Center automatically handles scale factors and projections for you. So you can be assured that your data will come in accordingly where it's supposed to be in your projection that you have set in Trimble Business Center. You can see there at the bottom, I've got a grid system set up using the Colorado North US state plane system. And so that's what I would want to match in my point cloud. All right, so I'm gonna drag and drop an LAS file and you can see here, I'm presented with a couple of options. So these 
two options here that we show cover the vast majority of common cases. Those cases being non-geo-referenced ground scaled point clouds. Those are point clouds that have not been re registered or geo-referenced. A common example of this is from a terrestrial laser scanner. The second option here is the geo-referenced grid scaled point cloud. So this is a point cloud that has been geo-referenced in a coordinate system that matches the current project's coordinate system. A common example of this is a point cloud created from a UAV, an unmanned aerial vehicle. If I click the more options, I'm presented with more options here under the geo-referenced point cloud when I've got that selected. And what the one of the new enhancements with TBC version 5.30 is that we can now allow you to specify a different coordinate system. If your point cloud file, if this LAS file that I imported was created in a different coordinate system, I can specify that here and TBC will automatically transform it into my TBC project coordinate system, which remember again, was that Colorado North US state plane. I'm also presented down here with a third option called point cloud from unknown source. This is an option to use while we don't encourage it. That's why we've put it under the more options. If you do not know what sensor type this came from, what coordinate system it came from, or what scale it's at. The point clouds imported with this option do not contribute to the project's point cloud scale factor. All right, after those examples in TBC, I hope you're wanting to learn a little bit more and we've got resources for you there. Just some general tips when working with point clouds in TBC. When you're importing point cloud data, think about, well, what sensor collected this point cloud data? Is the cloud geo-referenced, registered, or scaled already? And then who did I get this from? I could ask them if I'm not sure about these questions. Because as you saw in the import menu, it matters when you're trying to bring point cloud data in your TBC project along with your survey data. If you're trying to move point cloud data out of TBC to another CAD package, think about, well, what package will it be imported into? How does that package handle point cloud data? Who will be consuming or using the point cloud? Is it going to be integrated with other data? Do I need to worry about scale factors? And then what will be done with the point cloud? What's the main purpose uh, for, for where this is heading after it leaves the Trimble Business Center? Those questions, at least on the export, lead us to re make these following export recommendations. I got to put that asterisk in there because these recommendations are general conclusions from our team's extensive testing and may not fit for all of your export situations. But in general, for the most common cases, we found that these stick. If you're moving point cloud data between TBC projects, use the grid scale option. They're highlighted in the, the red rectangle. That's the default option. Export the point cloud, and then you can re-import the point cloud using that geo-referenced grid scale point cloud option that I showed. If you're moving the point cloud to another scanning package to be registered or combined with other point cloud data, such as Trimble RealWorks, use the ground scaling export option. And if you're moving the point cloud data to another CAD package based on known projections or coordinate systems, use the grid scaling export option. That grid option, again, is the default. If you're interested in learning even more about this, the Trimble Business Center team has composed a new white paper entitled Understanding and Applying Scale Factors in Scanning Workflows in Trimble Business Center. While that's a mouthful to say, I promise you it will be well worth your time as we talk about geodetic theory, grid and ground, projections and scale factors kind of setting the stage for why all of this matters. And then we go through data type by data type the theory applied in practice, and that practice is Trimble Business Center version 5.3 and later. Talk about GNSS data, total stations, levels, scanners, UAVs, 
the MX-9 mobile mapping system, and how all of those data types and point clouds in certain cases are affected by scale factors in TBC. The release of this white paper coincides with this video and the release of TBC version 5.3. So if you're listening and watching this video, the uh, white paper is available for you. And of course, our extensive and very helpful TBC help topics. Search for the select scale options when importing a point cloud file that will bring up this help topic. Or in the import menu itself, press that nice TBC help button. What that help topic talks about is definitions of some of these terms that I've talked about in this video, as well as that TBC uses. Talk about scenarios a little bit further, both the common and more specific, as well as the more options checkbox in Trimble Business Center. All right. That was an overview on how Trimble Business Center version 5.3 improved the import of point clouds and how those point clouds relate to the scale factor application.